talk about the business of YouTube. Hey everyone, my name is Tyler and it is the... <laughs> I am, and I always have been, kind of like a one-man show when it comes to like my videos on YouTube. I shoot my videos and edit my videos. I actually love editing videos. The recipe to YouTube success is being yourself, putting out content that you truly believe in, listening to your fans, staying current with pop culture, being consistent, make sure that you're consistently posting, and collab, 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 collab. The more you collab, the bigger your channel will get. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. The idea of a collab is you film with someone who does similar content or uh, you feel like you could create a good video with and aim to like expand your audience so you can generate more people to your channel. So this is Tyler. I love to collaborate on YouTube. It's my favorite thing in the world because um, I feel like it's my little platform to have a talk show. It's, it's me inviting my favorite people as my special guest for the episode and I get them out of their comfort zone and I make them do something ridiculous that they would never do on their own channel and uh, I get to just have fun with them and I think fans love it especially because it's like a crossover episode of your favorite two TV shows. There's a bunch of videos on the internet that everyone does. One of them is a tag video. He's my book friend! Tag. Tag. And basically it's like a list of questions. How it started was because all of us YouTubers are running out of video ideas. I think sometimes we do challenge videos because people want to see us like choke on cinnamon and like we'll take one for the team and do it. People do go crazy for like really weird videos like room tours, morning routine. The types of videos that I post are generally things um, that they've like the viewers have asked for. Um, I'll like read the comments, and you know you can kind of judge like haul videos where you sort of show what you've got when you've been shopping, and everyone loves those. So you know that if you've been shopping, it's probably a good idea to show them what you've bought because they'll love to see it. It's crazy to think that people want to know what's in my purse, you know. <laughs> but like I feel like people just want to know you. When it comes to like marketing each video, I do have a very like strict formula. I'll tweet once in the morning around noon because you have to make it specific so that everyone on whatever coast or country they're in can see it. So about noon works very well. And I'll do one Instagram post with a picture of the video. And then I'll also Facebook. So I mean it's a very like specific thing I'll do every week. my followers all the time and I definitely feel like that helps build my community of all of my viewers because I think it's fun at least for me like I recognize people's like Twitter icons and I recognize their Instagram usernames it's awesome when people will get so excited because you kind of forget that you're not just like watching some girl on YouTube and it's not like another TV show where you really get to interact and I think that that's what makes YouTube different than TV YouTube was always a hobby. It was always like, oh, look what I bought at the mall. Look at all this kind of fun stuff. But the first time it kind of opened up, it was like overwhelmingly flooded with responses. And suddenly the Barbie dream house was absolute hell. I became really depressed. And it was kind of that moment where I realized I was like, this whole YouTube thing is so much bigger than I had ever imagined. When I'm realizing that I'm finding more connections and more things in common with girls I've never met who are just watching my YouTube videos versus girls who are seeing me every day and not really doing anything about the fact that I'm like depressed and things like that. And it kind of, it really just turned a page on YouTube and made it so much more than just this hobby. I think I've just become accustomed to knowing that you'll get every type of response. No matter what you say, you'll get, I loved it, hated it, you're a terrible person, you're a wonderful person, and you'll get everything in between. And you have to really accept that when you do things online. People will just comment in the Instagram like, I know you'll never see this. I'm like, dude, I read every single comment. Like, of course I see your comment and like I'll respond back. And like they say it like makes her day, which is awesome. My followers are more of like my friends than people that just know me. I feel like I know them too in a way. I love seeing my fans. I go to networking events just to meet them. I think it's great because I'm always so used to just sitting in my room by myself, filming in front of the camera. It's amazing when I actually get to hug them and talk to them because 
Now I know they're real. <laughs> it's crazy to see people fangirl in a way about what I do because at the end of the day I just talk into a camera so to leave my living room where I talk just into a camera and then go out into the world and be able to interact with fans or go to conventions or travel the world or uh, even get my name chanted at, uh, at a One Direction concert. Things like that, I, I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to. Swag for the people! Yeah! My audience is uh, passionate young people who want to change the world. Tonight, I'm proud to present the Trevor Youth Innovator Award to Tyler Oakley. The Trevor Project was the first national 24 hour a day, seven days a week, toll free crisis and suicide prevention helpline for LGBTQ youth. We've done a lot of work uh, trying to raise money and um, raise awareness for young people who are going through crisis um, and ways to solve those issues like suicide prevention and things like that. And that has always been a passion of mine, but then to see that um, my audience who didn't sign up or subscribe to me for those reasons uh, was passionate about it too, it was just like a, a, like a turning point for me where I was like, holy crap, we can use this community that we built together to do good in the world. And I think that's my audience. The people that want to just do good in the world, have fun, be entertained, and um, feel empowered.